hey y'all happy saturday happy day 18 this is going to be brief today's topic is what is your why what is your why i want you guys to really think and dig deep and understand what that really means so we're doing this challenge and you say like what do you mean what is my why i want to do this because i want to get the best out of the rest of this year like we've been saying um i want to successfully execute on things i want to be able to accomplish something different i want to finish this year strong all that is well and good but If your why is not consistent and actually positioned in the right way, it's going to, it's it's all going to fall flat. It's going to collapse. And what I mean by that is a lot of times you have this motivating factor that is not a solid foundation. So like, if you're like, I'm going to lose this weight because my ex said I didn't look good and my body was, you know, my body wasn't all that. Now you're doing all of this. You're doing it for someone else. Maybe there are health benefits, but that's not your core why. So when you do all of this and he still don't pay you no mind, you still aren't good enough for him or for her. Then what? Then you're like, you're going to stop. It's not, you're not going to find a reason or have the reason to continue because it wasn't for yourself. It was to prove something to someone. A lot of people, oh, I'm, I'm going to do this or you go and take on this career. You become an accountant because I want to prove to my mom that I could do this or I want her to be proud of me knowing full well that's not your passion. That's not what you want to do. You have no desire to do that. You're not even realistically interested in, interested in accounting, but you're going to do it because you want to prove to your parent, whatever it is, that is going to fall flat because when they're dead and gone or when you really realize like life is passing you by and you see friends that are in careers that they're enjoying and living the life and you're miserable because this is not really what you want. The foundation is going to be feel like the, the floor was just pulled from right under your feet and you're falling. You're going to feel like you're sinking in your own life. Why? Because your foundation wasn't solid because your why was not correct. So it's the same kind of idea where you, yes, we need you to commit, but we need to make sure your commitment is to the right thing. You can go very well, say, I want to diet or whatever it is, because you know that in your core, you're not the best version of yourself at whatever weight you are. You're not the best version of yourself working at this job, even though maybe at one point you thought it was what you wanted to do because of immaturity or it just seemed like the right thing or you didn't really have a clear vision for your life, whatever. But if you decide to stay there, oh, well, I'm going to just stay here because it's comfortable. That why is wrong. Because again, you're going to wake up and realize life is passing me by. This is really not what I want to do. You're going to look back and all of these years of your life is wasted. Also, you're going to realize whoever that person is, that friend, that family member that you're trying to do whatever you're trying to do for to convince yourself or convince them like, oh, I can't wait till they see me next time because I'm going to level up. Your why is wrong because the moment that they don't give you the, the, the applause that you're looking for or they just don't care or you never get seen, it's going to slowly start to fizzle out and you're not going to continue. Because your motivation was wrong. The foundation of your motivation was wrong. So I want you today to really sit back and think, why am I doing this? What is my why? Whatever you decided to commit to, what is my why? You have to first and foremost be doing it for yourself. All the others can vicariously, you know, work out. Other people can obviously absolutely be blessed by whatever it is that you commit to but in the core of you in your reason when you sit alone by yourself you like why am i doing it has to be for you it can't be to prove something to somebody else it can't be to make someone else feel a way it can't be any of that and we remember going back to and let me not say remember but going back to scripture it says everything you do do it unto the lord because you should be pleasing him first and foremost Because whatever gift, whatever vision, whatever desire, because some of these desires that we have to want to improve our life, to want to help our families, to want to bless our families, to want to be in a fruitful marriage, whatever it is, some of those things were desires that God placed into your heart. So what it says is whatever you do, do it unto the Lord. And that's also echoing what I'm saying, because if you go to work, nobody appreciates your work. Nobody is saying thank you. People are actually acting crazy. Clients or customers are being terrible and rude. 
you're not doing this for them. It doesn't matter if they say thank you. It doesn't matter if they say great job. It doesn't matter if they give you a round of applause that you feel like you deserve. As long as your Heavenly Father is like, well done, you're doing what you're supposed to do, that's who you're living for. That's who you're doing this for. If your why is to please other people, to make other people notice you, to make other people feel like, oh yeah, she's doing such a good job, and you're waiting for them to pat you on the back, your why is wrong. Your why is off. And the moment they don't do it or they don't do it the way that you think they should, your commitment is going to fizzle out and fall flat. And then you're going to be back to square one, beating yourself up. Oh, I can't finish anything. This is miserable. My life is miserable. All of this stuff. Why am I here? How did I get here? Like, I was doing so good and doing X, Y, and Z, and I don't even feel like whatever it is. So your why has to be rooted in a solid foundation because that's what's going to keep you committed and going forward. Your commitment to yourself, not your commitment to prove prove something to someone else, not your commitment to make someone else feel away, not your commitments to get a round of applause from someone else, your commitment to yourself because you want the best for you. And I want to read one more um, and it goes on the line too of vengeance People want to like do something so that they can kind of like get back at people because of something that was done to them or anything like that. And that's not healthy. That's not helpful. I know one thing um, scripture says in Ecclesiastes 7, 9, be not hasty in your spirit to be angry for anger rests in the bosoms of fools of fools. So that goes back to your foundation. Like sometimes some people are fueled to go do something because they're angry. Like, oh, she just made me mad. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch how I'm about to turn up. Watch how this is about to turn up. Watch how hard I'm going to go for it. Da, 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 da. You're letting someone else dictate how you, your, your output, how you show up, how you get things done because of them fueling rage within you. And once that rage fizzles out or they go about their business or you're not connected to them anymore, what's going to fuel the passion to keep you going, to keep you committed? Because now your show and tell moment is over. It doesn't matter anymore. So you have to do the why for you. Not for anyone else. You have to want to start the business and excel in it for you. You have to want to commit to whatever your goal is for you. You have to want to succeed and and bless your family and bless others for you. And ultimately, it's for God. Like we said, scripture said, um, everything you do, do it unto the Lord. Because he put that in you. He put that gifting in you. So if you have any kind of wavering, like, oh, your motivation is off. Because that's what it boils down to. What is motivating you? What is your foundation? What is pushing you to do whatever it is that you want to commit to? Because it, wh- wh- your why is going to determine how you turn out, how this finishes. Because if it's to, you know, get back at a family member, or it's to get back at an ex, or it's to show somebody that you're really worth it. If it's to prove a point to somebody, if it's to just appease a parent, you took this job just to make your parent feel proud of you. When all of that is said and done, and when they're still not proud of you, when the ex still don't want to come back to you, when he still don't even, or she's still not even checking for your results or your progress, how are you going to continue? Because now that anger that fueled that or that, that uh, man-pleasing spirit that fueled that is going, is going to fizzle out. And then what is going to be the coal in your steam engine? What's going to keep you pro- progressing? Nothing. So you have to make sure what you're doing, what you're committed to, what you're focusing on is for you. You're doing it because you want the best for you. Not for anyone else, not to bring anyone else along on your bandwagon, but for you. And once you have that down in your core, everyone else will be blessed. Not revenge, not vengeance for them, because vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. It ain't got nothing to do with you. That's above your pay grade, baby girl or baby boy. You want to make sure you're doing it for you and everyone else is going to see the fruit of your life. You should be so far past whoever you're trying to prove something to that they hear it through the grapevine or they're checking for you because you're so unbothered because you're so focused and committed to your growth and to your success. So that is what we're focused on, focusing on, excuse me, today for day 18. What is your why? What is your Why? And making sure that your why is built on a solid foundation for you and for my father above. So 
that is it. If you guys want to catch this live, it's going to be on my YouTube page. Um, I'm going to post it in like the next 20 minutes so you can see it there. Please check out the other days from this challenge. We're almost finished, guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Um, on the other side of November 30th, you guys been pressing through. I know that there's going to be some powerful results because I see some results in my life. So I'm excited for you guys. Click the link in my Instagram bio if you're watching this on Instagram to be able to see all of the videos from day 1 to 17. Super powerful. I keep encouraging you. Go back and watch day 15, Ascent 1. It's next level. Definitely going to bless your life. So please, please, please check out my YouTube page. Yes, yes, Dion. Go watch the other day. Start with day 15. I keep telling people that day was like manna. Like it was straight from heaven. It was amazing. I'm still blessed by it. It's called Ascent One. Go and watch that live. Watch day 1 to 17. Again, for those of you who are joining uh, this live now, the purpose of this challenge is to get the most out of the rest of this year. And really, we're starting with November. A few years ago, I started this where November is where I started refocusing. Because whether the year turned out for you in your favor or didn't, doesn't matter. This <clears throat> this November is a pivotal moment because all you have is December left and then you're going to hit January. People always come up with, oh, I'm going to start in January. You know, it's going to you're not going to start. You don't go to a race and say, I'm going to start training for the race at the race. You have to train before the race. This is the before the race time. November is the before the race time. You're getting your foundations together. You're getting the stinking thinking out of your mind. You're getting the clarity that you need. You're creating a solid foundation so that you can actually propel through December and really take over in your January. Have clear focus. You're not going to start January focused. You coming in the house hungover because you went to New Year's party or you was up all night watching the ball drop. By the time it's day five, you just getting yourself together to actually jump back into work and doing everything. January is over. Let's be real. How many years have you done this? Saying that, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to start in January and you don't start or you start for two weeks and then it's over. Let's actually make smart decisions because we know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, hoping for different results. So this is the one of my keys to being able to execute in the new year is to start it now. Replace, redo, and redefine what it is that you're trying to accomplish. There's plenty of time. There's still 100% left of 2023. Until the clock strikes midnight on December 31st, turning into the 1st, there is still 100% of 2023 left. There's still more money to be made. There's more conversations to be had. There's more love to be given or received. There's more clients to, to, to have. There is more out there. Do not throw in the towel yet. You know, Thanksgiving don't matter. Neither does Christmas matter. What matters is, are you executing on what you were purposed to do in this year? And there's still time. Hey, Vanessa, there's still time to execute and to do it. Please go to my YouTube page, Candace Idahan. You can click the link in my Instagram bio to get there. Go watch Ascent One Day 15. All of the days from this challenge are on there. I promise you, it's going to blow your mind. And it's going to help you want to really finish this year out strong. I'm telling you, there's so much more left in store for this year. God's not done with this year and he's not done with you. This is the 11th hour. We're in the 11th month. We all know that powerful things happen in the 11th hour. So please... Please don't throw in the towel. Keep pressing through. Like I said, there's more to be had. There's more money, more clients, more favor. There's it might be relationships. There, there's so much more left in this year. Do not give up now. Thanksgiving is one day. Christmas is one day. There's plenty of days left in this year to make something turn out. Some companies make the most money they make all year in these last two months. Don't give up. Do not throw in the towel. There is more for you coming soon. Go watch the other lives from the rest of this challenge. There's still time to join if you want to join it. You can just work it through the rest of now to December. Go watch Day 15 Ascent 1. Super powerful. And I cannot wait to see what you guys create on the other side of November 30th. Also, if you want to get the emails that I send out daily to encourage you, click the link in my Instagram bio and sign up for the newsletter. It's promise you it's going to bless you. Talk to you guys soon.